Hey everyone, it's Vian from Mountain Road Ride here and today we are going to talk Zwift. Um, yes, so in the past I have shown you through this other video how you can go about connecting a mouse to your iPad and that way if you are working out on Zwift using an iPad things are just that little bit easier. But today is an update to that video because Apple has now made it much simpler. That previous video was all focused on the launch of iOS 13, but just recently Apple also released iOS 13.4. Now with that comes a much simpler workflow on connecting your mouse to the iPad. So if you're somebody who is working out indoors currently on Zwift and you do just want that little bit more accessibility with your iPad to uh, maybe navigate around using a mouse then this video is for you. I'm also going to go into a couple of other handy tips and tricks when you are working out on Zwift with an iPad. I'm going to show you how you can run your YouTube videos while you're Zwifting and also how you can connect maybe that Amazon Prime video and how you can bring that up in screen while you're on Zwift on an iPad. So all of those things will be covered in the next few steps. Follow along and uh, hope you enjoy your indoor training just a little bit more. first thing to note and the most important of all is that you ensure that your iPad software is up to date. You want to make sure that you have updated it to the iPad OS 13.4. Without that, none of these steps are going to work so well. So make sure you've updated the software and then let's check out the next few steps on how to connect the mouse to the iPad. Alright, so I want to go ahead and actually show you how you can connect your mouse to your iPad. It's actually much simpler than it was in previous editions of the iPad software. This time around, all you need to do is go into your Bluetooth settings and then what you want to do is obviously in my case, I just need to make sure that my mouse is switched on and so now the mouse will appear at the bottom of the screen. I can pair that up and it is as simple as that. Now I have as you can see that small little dot um, as a mouse pointer. Um, you can customize this slightly if you want to go into the general settings. You will find trackpad and mouse. There you can go ahead and adjust things like the scrolling speed, whether or not you want it to be naturally scrolling, and then also what your secondary click should be, whether that should be just a right click, a left click, or nothing at all. So in my case, I have set that to be a right click. If you do want to drill into the settings just a little bit further, you can go into accessibility. Within the um, pointer control menu, you also have a few other things. I've switched my contrast, increase contrast button on, so it just makes that pointer just ever so slightly more visible. And then there are other settings like maybe an auto hide setting that you can adjust how long it takes before that cursor or the pointer disappears from your screen. And then also if you do want to play around with obviously the pointer size, that's there. And also something like your, your scrolling speed, so how quickly you um, will move as you scroll. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Basically, the main thing is that you want to set it up within the Bluetooth menu and make sure that you are connected to the mouse. Alright, so as I'm starting up Zwift, you can see now the pointer up on the screen. Um, I'm just going to go into a just watch mode so you can get a sense of how this actually operates. Alright, so there we are in game. Now you can see I can use the pointer just like I would normally um, if I was to use my finger. And you can see I can easily change the camera angles in this watch mode. I can go back to my avatar. I can easily navigate into the menu settings and then even change any of those things if I want to go into the garage to change of any of my items up. Or maybe even if I wanted to change up some of the settings. Pretty easy and straightforward. No more having to tap around on the screen. Now I've got a neat pointer that you can use. Let's look at a few other things that can also be helpful when you have the mouse connected. So another neat feature with the mouse now connected is I can actually make use of the slide over feature. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring up my Spotify app and have it in that slide over view. 
And now with the app open, it's pretty easy now to navigate around. So I can use the mouse and I can click any of my playlists. And so now with the playlist loaded, I can easily navigate around and pick any of the songs that I want to. Let's put on one of those tracks, get it going, bring up the control. And you can see while I'm zwifting, I can very easily control the music now. And then if I want to get it out of the way, it's a simple slide over and then the slide over again. So that's kind of the annoying part of this uh, mouse that's connected to the slide over. It's almost like a double movement. You've got to move over to the side and over again. That will bring up the player slide over to the side and it will move it out of the way so sort of a double control over to the side over again and you bring up your slide over you can go on and play and then over and over it moves it out of the way all right so next up i want to show you another use case for this mouse while you are zwifting um, i want to primarily focus on adding some video or watching some video while you're on Zwift. Now, a lot of us might use Amazon Prime or we might even want to watch some YouTube while we are actually working out. And so I'm going to show you both of those applications and how you can get that set up and running while you are on Zwift. First of all, we're going to start off with YouTube. Now, important to note here is that I'm not going to use the YouTube app, but in fact, I'm going to go over into Safari and within Safari you want to then launch YouTube within the browser. So I've got one of my previous videos up here. If you haven't seen this video yet, this is a video that I've created specifically for that Emily short mix workout that you find on Zwift. If you ever need an instructor to uh, motivate you to get you through that workout, this is a neat video to follow. So I'm going to open this up and First thing you need to do is go into that full screen mode. So with the video launched in full screen mode, you can see that there's a little button there at the top that allows you to pop it down into that picture in picture mode. So that's an important first step that you want. So now you have that video in a smaller scale that you can move around and you can kind of pin it to any one of the four corners on the screen. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go over to the Zwift application yet again. And so there you go. Now you've got your video playing within Zwift. And you can see I can still move around and change all my camera angles as normal um, using the mouse. But at the same time, I can also then move around my little screen that's a uh, picture in picture right now. And I can watch my YouTube video while working out on Zwift. And so, hey, now if you want to bring up that Emily short mix workout, follow along with my instructions. And easy enough, you can do that workout with an instructor built in. Pretty cool. The next application that I want to show you is actually on the Amazon Prime site. So with this one, I'm going to go into the app. For this one, you can use the app as opposed to the YouTube one. And as an example, I want to use Rebecca Rush's uh, Blood Road movie as an example if you haven't seen this one already what a great inspirational documentary to watch while you are zwifting so in this case you want to open it up on your amazon prime you're going to resume the movie in my case so with the movie playing you're going to simply push the home button and that's going to get you right back into your picture in picture view now i'm just going to pause this video because i do not want to infringe on any copyright laws at this stage but what you now can do is you can simply launch up your zwift application and that gives you then again that picture in picture mode so you simply as with the youtube video you can move it around you can put it anywhere on your screen i can even pinch to zoom to make it just a little bit bigger and place it anywhere i like so Again, as of the YouTube video, you can now go ahead and uh, work out on Zwift while also watching your favorite movie from Amazon Prime. Just another cool use for the mouse because now as you're going along, you can control your avatar and any of the controls within Zwift, but also at the same time, you can play and pause your movie as you like using the mouse. Great, so there you have it. Those are a couple of handy tips and tricks with your iPad if you're working out on Zwift. Hopefully now you've got your mouse connected, you can bring up your YouTube picture in picture and you can also watch those Amazon Prime videos while working out on Zwift. Hey, maybe this video just helped you to make that indoor training even just a little bit more fun. Enjoy and until next time, I'm Vian from Mountain Road Ride. Enjoy that ride.